Welcome back to Poops and Pilots. Let's play some more Eratus, Lord of the Dead. Um, what am I saying about this thing? It's a hardcore, roguelike, tactical, dark dungeon-like thing. <laughs> we have a party of undead minions and we go ham. Now, um, we're not in the greatest position. We're playing on the hardest difficulty mode that the game has to offer here in Early Access. And we wasted a full party of minions on a fight that we really shouldn't have lost so much stuff on. And other mistakes were made too. Well, I'm, I'm learning again, right? I played through this once on the medium difficulty. And then we played a bit on this channel already on the hardest one, but got beat quite a bit there. And then I put in a small break and now we're back and learning. Um, we're sort of ready to go back to the dungeon, but what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna pick up Bone Spear here. It's not the most powerful of destructive um, things, but we have an item, a artifact, I also should have a look at our artifacts again. Um, this one that deals extra 10, uh, 10 physical to a random enemy when we use the destruction spell. And we picked up this destruction spell early because it looked really good to me. But it actually needs damage to your own units, so maybe it's not that good. Um, so I want something I can just use and that's cheap. And that is, I think, Bone Spear. Also, Bone Spear is really good at removing block on people. Um, the other thing is have a quick look at our artifacts. What do we have? We have the Infused Decker, which gives us a secret dis <laughs> Maybe I didn't need to <laughs> grab that destruction spell. This gives us uh, a magical damage spell. You have 50 damage, and if the attack is stunned, you get another 100%. We don't stun at the moment, but this is powerful. Finally, this item finds its way into my capable hand. This we could equip it, it does nothing for us right now because we don't have uncommon parts really. And we're gonna keep this one time use Skull Torch for something else. Now, we're gonna go here and heal our minions anyway. I don't think there's anybody else we need to heal, so we might as well take this whole party into the Fountain of Restoration. And heal all my minions. And then we're gonna go out of here, level up that shade. Um, the shade wants probably just an upgrade to the Black Riot. Black Light. Yep. Back to battle. That's how this party is set up. It's a weird party, but it kind of works. Or has kind of worked so far, at least. Let's see if it can work for us again. Beat up these people here. We need to get a lot of parts out of this so we can build a, fully build a second party. We have two lost phantasms, lost souls, lost souls lying around to use, but um, there's still a lot of work to do. This guy is super scary. So is this guy. At least this one isn't elite. Um, who's gonna go first? You. <laughs> I have no idea if debuffing this guy's accuracy is actually good, but I mean, it's the plan of this whole thing. Should I remove your block? Is there a point to removing your block? Don't think that's a lot of point. Well, just crush bones and somebody, no, let's just wait. All right, you have a ward anyway. Double miss, gives us a counter attack. Good. And then you, your perk is to gain bigger if in position four. I mean, that's fine. Now, who do you want to trap? Who are you going to trap? Um, it's just first position. And then we pull that guy into first position. Oh, we're gonna pull twice. I'm gonna mark, I think I'm gonna mark second position. I uh, didn't check whether any of these had defense. Don't hurt me. Ow. Uh, none of these have any defense. So we don't need the mark to do anything but damage. But damage. Uh, let's pull you forward, reduce your accuracy. Have you not hit me? That's the whole plan of this composition, is not get hit and then have the lich do the counterattack. And kill enemies with that. Uh, would be nice to have more accuracy debuffs going on, or more dodge on my liches, maybe. Um, but we're gonna work on that. Uh, who else? It's gonna be you. Yeah, I'm gonna pull you forward this time, debuff you, actually debuff you. No, I don't. I miss. That's sad. Let's not get crit for a million. And he blocks our attack, yeah. That miss was was a sad one. This time, 
I think I'm gonna put you here. Might be the wrong thing to do again. I don't want to hit a mar uh, um, the thing. So I'm gonna try to pull this guy in. Oh. Why do I keep missing? What's the accuracy? 95%? They have no dodge. I made this guy's dodge. Stop hitting. Does he have dodge? He has 40% dodge. Still. It's no fair. Um, I do want this cloud going though. So I'm gonna put that on, I think, you. Get that first hit of damage and whenever we pull somebody into that cloud, which we're just gonna do. Or not. What the hell? All the misses? I'm gonna, gonna keep doing this. Sometimes sometime I'm not gonna miss. Um, but we should consider using Bone Spear to remove that block um, before... Okay, at least the pull doesn't do any damage, that's kind of nice, but now we can't really... Oh, that's so annoying! My stuff never works. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pull you, but instead I'm gonna pull that guy. At least I hit this time. So does he though, ouch. My poor shade is almost gone. Stop hitting. I mean, the one reason they keep hitting is that I keep missing my, um... Impale this wretch. Should I have gotten? Yeah, there we go. Um, that I keep missing my accuracy debuffs here. It's really bad. Um, Rod, who suggested these strategies in the comments, did say that I should take care to get accuracy buff items on all my liches. Um, which, I think that's what he said. Which I didn't do. And now I feel that <laughs> quite, quite reasonable. I would have been quite reasonable to do. That does your damage. The whip, accuracy and damage. Ooh, 70% accuracy. Um, I do want to run a new cloud though. I think I keep running it up here. Become um, part of toast the you, then this guy time. moves in there, then you should take damage. You do not. I don't know how this works. I mean, that's not con considered a move. Who knows? Uh, let's get the Simon Wrath. Oh, now he gets it. It's just delayed. We had that before. It's just somehow the game doesn't quite get it. Pull you into that cloud. Nice. Don't kill my lich. Thank you. Get counter attack. Don't kill my lich. Thank you. Get counter attacked. And crit to death. That should once again do damage to him. Yeah, did. This time we didn't even need to click, it just worked. I don't get this game. Uh, was that clever? Probably not. Now the, yeah, the bounty hunter attack hits that guy. Um, could argue, uh, my list just gets to go. Do I want to nuke anybody? How much life do you have? 34. I'm not quite sure how much this cloud is going to deal. If I were to do 10 to 14, oh no, it's percentage damage, right? So the cloud won't kill you anyway. Um, the headhunter I take will, but that would be too late. I'm thinking to crush his bones. He has 34 health. We could just do 50 magic damage for some mana. Yeah. Crunchy. <laughs> Crunchy. <laughs> yep. Um, unfortunately, now we can't do the pulling tricks anymore, so what am I going to do? I just generate mana or dodge? You still have the accuracy debuff going, yeah. I'm just going to go for some dodging on my damaged liches. Lichai. So then I'll die. See? Doged. And counterattacked. And uh, now, I think I'm okay to make some mana with you. My dishes still have, I think, oh no, they don't have the doge anymore. Um, this guy does get to go again, and I don't have any actual target damage, right? No. Let's go doging again. Swap a Miss, nice, and get dead. 
All right. I mean, we took damage on these liches, of course. So we're gonna have a bit. We can't run these two for the next uh, encounter, but we didn't lose anybody. We got six parts out of it, out of it which is nice. And uh, maybe even generate the part from the from the thing. Yeah, generate another skull. Uh, leveled up our lost soul. Got some mana. Nice. Um. Okay, this is where we have to go anyway. Which just gives me items, and then we have to choose whether we go north or east. I'm a bit afraid to go east, so it's probably going to be north. I mean, doing a lot of battles is generally nice, but we're so low on resources that I don't know that we can afford that. If we win them, of course, we gain resources. It's all, you know, balance. Okay, this... Gives the minion 5 luck, and if the minion starts to turn with less than 70% of health, um, I gain an extra chance to acquire parts. Stacks up to 3 times, so it can have a 12% chance to acquire extra parts. This just gives initiative, which is nice for the Dark Knight combo. Um, this is the Black Heart. Gives a ward, which is obviously sweet. Um, you start your turn with less than 30% health. Gain bonus 8% to drop parts. Gains bonus 8% to parts drop after victory. Gains 4% chance to acquire extra parts after victory. I think this is the same effect. Well, double, of course, but I think this is the same effect, just differently worded. <laughs> it's early access. We can't complain, right? Um, so I much prefer this effect to this effect. It's refreshing since we're not working on crit much. Um, obviously the 30% health thing is not going to happen even remotely as much as the 70%. But I think getting the better combat effect is important. Question is, is this initiative better for us? Can't decide. I'll take the ward. Take it as tribute. So, we're not going to take this party out, but the question is, do we go here with an elite taskmaster and an elite swordsman? Or here with a... I think that's the Doomsayer, not the, the Explody guy. If that was the Explody guy, I would be willing to take the Lich party, uh, the, the Shade party. The other one. No, this one's the one with the pulling. Right. The Shade party there. Um, just use that guy to blow everybody up. But um, I think it's the other guy. The larger the pocket of resistance. And then there's going to be a full elite squad here, which is going to be really scary. So I'm probably going to go north, honestly. And then we can still decide to go either for this battle or end the elite fight on this, or for the easier route here, which includes a golem, which is unfortunate, but otherwise looks easier. Um, so yeah, we're going north, but we need to party for that. And it's not going to be this one because the shades are hurt. So let's see if we can build something. Um, ideally, I wanted to bring two... Dark Knights. I have one Ectoplasm, one Dust. Enough armor and enough weapons. So I would have to build... Yeah, I won't be able to build two Knights here. Not without giant losses. Do you have any other idea for a Lost Soul Party? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I'm saying Lost Soul Party because I have two Lost Souls still in my um, possession. I'm just lying around and waiting for me. I just wanna wanna give that a quick check. I should really, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> it's not particularly interesting to you, but I'm sure there is a 
No, that's not. Shame. Um, so what I was trying to do was keep the Iratis music going while I'm tapped out and looking for a specific comment by Ron, who suggested a ton of parties, that's why I'm looking for that. Um, but... Uh, da, 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 lost soul. Um, but the game doesn't have a setting for playing sound in background. Uh, lost Soul, Lost Soul, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. Yeah, I, I get that. If you'd like to try physical based team, you could try Lost Soul, Headhunter, Vampire, Dump here. I don't have the Vampire yet, unfortunately. Okay, so the suggested parties, none of them we can do. How do we replace the one Dark Knight in the Lost Soul party? So the idea with the Lost Souls and the Dark Knight is to buff the enemies, have the Dark Knight trigger the stress on buff. So it's a stress team. Having double Dark Knight obviously is better, but we don't have that here. What are we fighting again? We're fighting fully physical damage team, bunch of crits and stuff. Um... So it would be nice to have something that's good against that. I don't know what that would be. So I would craft a Dark Knight. Um, and I think we still go with the simply gray item stuff. We don't have the resources to do anything else. Let's craft a Dark Knight. Oh, inspiring leader, but irrelevant for the armies of Oops. undead. Oops. And what else are we going to craft here? This should be another Dark Knight, but we can't do that. Um, I think the last time we did this, we ran a dump here in one of the parties. I think that was in the Lich party, though, and the dump here just died. <laughs> um, what's cool about the dump here is that there's stance interruption, but these enemies don't really have stances, do they? There's that protection thing. Is that a stance? That must be a stance. Uh, I don't know that's a stance. That the, 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 um, the other guy does. Yeah, I'm tempted to just run a dumpy here. Because all of this doesn't really do anything, does it? Blood Phantasm does physical damage, which we don't need. The mummy does do stress stuff. Even though everybody hates the mummy, I kind of like it. For debuffs from allies, it's not going to be relevant here much. Unless we debuff our people with the Lost Swords, which we can do. Um, hmm. I mean, the mummy's pretty tanky, which is cool for the front line. I like that part. And then it just does some stress damage. Maybe that's better than the dumpy that's just there to sit and interrupt stance. Ah, these stance interruption, though, might be... I'm gonna use the dump here and try to see if we can get the stance interruption to work on the swordsman. If that works, that's great. If not, we're probably gonna die. Hey. Uh, this gives two luck. Uh, it's decent on the dump here, sure. Let's do that. Embrace your true self. Embrace your true self. Now, probably want to give a brain to the lost So We have a bunch of brains here. Um, I'm just going to give you the 30 IQ. There you go. You're bright now. Um, the upgrade was Panic Wave, I believe? No. Psychotic Street. Um, you are... N One of you needs a Psychotic Street upgrade. But that's going to be you, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give you the psychotic scream. And then here we have two upgrades, and I could go for the I think I go for the ward and heal upgrade combination. Um yeah. The block's gonna be nice against the en these enemies, although the crit guy, yeah. And then the ward helps um, counteract the heal, so that's cool. So we do now, this and then worthy of my investment. the bigger heal, right? This one. My enemies are in for a nasty surprise. And then... Dark Knight really wants an upgrade to Futile Hopes. 
I think. And that's it, so you can have the level 2 brain. I mean, more upgrades aren't bad. You well, my minion. And now the question is, do I waste a level 3 waste, a level 3 brain on my Dampier? I guess I do. If I want the Dampier to live, then... So this upgrades what? Falling down here is a stance. Oh, this is the one where counter attacks heal. Yeah, so I want that. Sure, let's do brain thing. Get Give you this, make you a bit more tanky too. And then what else do you do? Trap, seems pretty lame. You're okay on the critical hits. Didn't we give you a bonus? Hmm. Um, Stores and mana to Aratus. This just heals for more. Seems pretty lame. And this is a move forward attack, which we don't really need, I don't think. Um, so we just... I don't actually want to upgrade this. So maybe we're looking for stats? More accuracy would be nice. Scrap the accuracy upgrade here. On the unerring lunge. Expect results. Because missing sucks. Um any items you want to put on people? Two armor. Could see putting the, the spikes on Duck Negat. I really want him to Well, I really want him to have initiative, but let's put the steel spikes on here. That's not the steel spikes, damn it. Oh, I can. Oh, wow. I just, did I just lose my item? That should have a confirmation screen. Holy fudge. It just removed the misery call. Forever. What? Okay. <laughs> don't do that. Um, now, the question is, do we need wards on anybody? I don't think there's a lot of wardy stuff in this next fight, so I'm not going to put the black heart on anybody. Even though there's a chance that gives us more parts and all that. All right, party set up. Um, lich and Lich go healing. Shade and Shade. It's not the Lich. It looks like the Lich. It doesn't look like the Lich. Um, who he wants to level? Probably the Shade. Put the Shade in there. Put the Headhunter in here to make me some mana. Zombie's still busy excavating. We could build another thing here. But I don't really have the resources to build and put somebody in anywhere. Um, Probably the most interesting next build will be this anyway, which we don't need right now. Okay. So we can just heal more units. Uh, let's go. Um, did we pick up any? I don't think we did, right? No. And yeah, no foreign common parts. To the dungeon. And let's fight. Tough battle. Let's see if this dumpier can do anything up there. It's a shame that we don't have the second um, tanky boy up front. But what can you do? Now we should, could be happy about these misses, but really we're not. So this is the stress party, um, but we really want this activated. Then again, I don't want you to move. How do we go about this? Don't care about your blocks, do kind of care about your wards. I don't have anything good to reduce those wards. So maybe we just start running Inspire Heroics here. Yeah, this guy's gonna ward it and therefore not get the accuracy bonus. And the front guy is already super accurate, so we're not gonna dodge him anyway. This seems fine. So because he warded it, he should not... Mm... Oh yeah, that's just because he missed. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is not because of my accuracy buff. That's a lot of stress though, that's really nice. And I think you're just gonna do the same thing, or you do the boon. Maybe we run the boon on the knight. Or the dump here. I think you put it on the knights, so I have a ward on everybody. No, just run the Q here. Whatever. Um what I'm looking to do here. Yeah, would have been nice. Now nah, the block wouldn't have done too much. It's not the highest amount of damage there. So you uh, definitely want to exploit anger. 
Um, stress a guy and go to the whole counterattack thing. Let's do this. Insane already, nice. Unlucky. Less accuracy, evasion, and luck. It's not the nuttiest of the insanities. And you definitely go for the dashed hopes. So my lost uh, souls can so show their real worth. Ow. We need to heal our knight, though. Eh. Really want to get these lost souls started. Giving you accuracy is painful. 55 crit. I could... Blood curse is luck. Maybe I should do that. Crimson it's a lot of mana, but we can get mana back, right? Just to reduce the chance of getting crit here. And then we just do this. Get my knight trigger. Get hit for not a lot. If he doesn't crit, that's not super painful. And then you go for the full-on um, psychotic stream. Get everybody with that stress. Did not get the kill, unfortunately, on the guy. Here we should get a counter-attack. Nice crit. Heal a bit. Still not didn't kill this guy. Oh, I really need this knight to be not dead. We have enough wrath for him to go for the full heal, though, so that's fine. Um, so I'm not going to use her ultimate ability, that would be daft. Um, I wonder... I think I'm stressing somebody else. I think I'm stressing this guy. First of all, he's scary. Second of all, I kind of don't necessarily want the miner to die here, because I have the AoE that heals me for every enemy hit. So... Keeping that guy alive might save me some. Ow! And the block. So much damage flying around. Um, now we don't have the knight active, so... This might be the turn where we do the boon into heal. I mean, I could just heal the dump here. You're the one who has the buffed here, so yeah, I'm just gonna heal the dump here. She has a ward. So she's not gonna get hit by the magic attack next turn. That's cool enough. Um, do I want to use any of these other things? Mm, probably not. Crushing bones, no. Just heal up that dump here a lot. Reduce damage dealt. Uh, no, it doesn't. That's the other thing. That's the ward thing, right, that does that. We have a lot of wrath, so this guy can heal up it himself. Um, can I see... I don't quite know how initiative works yet. I think I go for the stress attack. Try to get a kill, maybe. We do get a kill. You're gonna hit my poor dump here and get counter attack. She heals. He goes insane, gets cowardice, which is kind of nice. Chance of flee increase and deals stress damage to all allies. It uses current sanity, so it's not. The nuttiest, but it's nice. Uh, you go back into your stance for sure. Um, I think we put some stress on this guy because he's close to getting insane. There we go. Betrayal, very nice. And you just, even though we have a plan with this party, I think you just have to heal up again. And this emphasizes why you want two knights, right? Um, if you have two knights, you can afford one knight healing up and the other one doing the other stuff. Redirect. That's leave a mark. Nice. Betrayal. Hit that ward. Was, was good. I like that. Um, now we are in a spot where any attacks generate counter attacks and all that. Um, I could just put a ward on our friend up front, a ward in a block. Maybe that's good. Yeah, with my knight not being on the move anyway. Ah, uh, you know what I mean, right? Um, and you? Could have you do the healing. Maybe that's not necessary. Thing is just, I can't... What happens if I directly attack you? I mean, I get counter-attack, but maybe that's fine. I think I get to hit the guy behind you as well, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh! And I say that was fine. That was not fine. Um, now, 
still redirects all things. I don't know if this is an attack. All attacks and debuffs. It says stance, not physical attack. I'm gonna try. I hope I don't get counter attacked. I do get counter attacked. No, I don't get counter attacked. I just got um, redirected. But that could have been much worse. Um, you go to dash hopes again. Uh, so we can make use of our lost souls to actually deal a little of stress damage. You moved, so you get hit. And then you hit me for not too much damage. Betrayal. Oh, just kill the blocks, but that's fine. And then I think I go for um, the Q here, even though it's it's risky. Kills the guy he protected. Maybe that turns off the counter attack? Feels like it did. Yeah, cool. And then you... Actually, we don't need to stream. Stream does 10 to 12. This does 16 to 19. And... Yeah, this is better. Get the kill on the scary guy. Nice. And you're insane and you got... What did you get? Berserk. Oh, Berserk is scary. Um, I think I'll just show you my face here. Try to stress him out as fast as we can. Uh, same here. Exploit your anger. Nice. Double blocked. Counter attack. Some healing is nice. Uh, that m because we might not have a chance to heal the dump here between fights. So getting extra healing there is neat. Um, you... And we could try to use this fight to get some healing out. The fact that he's Berserk is scary. Otherwise I might try to go and... Maybe I should still do that. He didn't have a ward on you. I think I'll try to heal... Actually I'll try to heal my other lost soul. And the other lost soul, because the amount of damage we deal doesn't matter anymore. Uh, that only matters for the wards. I keep confusing the abilities. Anyway, um, do I want to hit with this or do I want to heal the dump here? Or maybe even the Knigget. <sighs> Who's next? Dump here and then the knight. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. I hope we just get the kill before the other guy gets to go. Uh, if I heal the Knigget though, then I attack it next time. Yeah, let's heal the dump here. Even though healing the Knigget seems more important. Everything from those Crit. Um, I could run the heal here, but I think I want to try to get a kill. So I'll show you my face. No. Counter attack, heal a bit, nice. Hit that ward, all fine. And then you are going to attack you, which is fine. Everybody's gonna get to go. I'm gonna drop a heal on my knight. Try to get out of this without being damaged. Yeah, ward it. And then you now do some stress damage to this guy. Get the kill. See? That was a really good fight. We almost got out of it without taking damage. Awesome. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. I got six items again and a an extra item. So six parts and an extra item for us to use. Neat. Neato burrito. Um, but we're also at the end of another episode, which fits almost fine time-wise. These are always a bit long. It feels... I always want to have at least two fights in an Eratus episode, and um, it's tough to get that in there. But we're gonna put that cut in here now. We're almost on time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet, uh, to hear about more videos, of course. And do talk to me in the comment section. If you have ideas for other parties, then that would be something I would really welcome here. Of course, any other suggestions are also, also welcome, as is well, any critique, if it's reasonable. Constructive critique, I love that. And um, constructive criticism is what you should say. And uh, praise, I'll take praise too. I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but I will take some praise. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time.